What is going on everyone? Welcome to another video from Feature Tech. In this video, I'm going to be sharing three things I hate about my LG PureCare Aero Tower purifying fan. Now, before we get deep into the video, make sure to subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Let's get into it. The first thing I hate about this fan is the application that you can use to control it. And the reason why is I hate the approach that LG took with this fan as far as application. And I say this because it feels like an afterthought. Once you created your account and you paired the fan with the app, this is the main menu you're greeted with. And immediately you feel like it's kind of bland, like the fan doesn't belong there. And the reason why I say this is that if you scroll down, you can see recipes being suggested or that you can look at. And if you keep going down, you can go and shop at the LG store and even, you know, giving you tips about laundry. So it just feels a little bit odd. And then even when you press on the fan to bring up the remote system for the fan, so I'm gonna turn on the fan right now, you're gonna hear a beep. But once the fan is powered on and you can see the remote popping up, that virtual remote, it still feels bland. It feels very plain. There's no design, there's nothing creative about the remote to entice you to use the app. It's just, it's white with a green bubble in the middle and then you have your basic controls uh, right here. Now, if you think that this is great, I recommend checking the Dyson app tour for my Dyson TP04 tower fan. I'm gonna leave a link right here and just take a look at it and then compare the two apps and tell me which one you prefer. Another reason I hate this fan is because of how heavy it is. Now, I know I'm in the very small percentage of people that would need to constantly move their fans. A lot of people place down their fans on the floor, somewhere in the living room, and then forget about it. But if you're in the small percentage of people like myself that move the fan from one room to another, because you don't wanna get three or four of these for different rooms, this is a pain to move around. And 28 pounds for a purifying fan is heavy. The third and final thing I don't like about this fan is the lack of support from LG. Now, a few weeks ago, I called to inquire about this exact item that you see here, which is the replacement filter, and I was placed on a 16 minute hold. I asked them where I can find the filter and how much it would be, and even a few weeks ago, the representative, maybe I was just in the wrong department, but I really was transferred three times until I got to this department. They put me on a 16 minute hold, and once they came back from that hold, they very nicely told me that they don't have any information about the filter, and as far as they know, it's still not in stock. And I can see here the filter now. Finally, the web page for the filter on LG's website is more. Uh, you can see it now a lot better because before I could not find it. But here it is. The replacement filter is $100. But when you try to buy it from LG, first of all, it's not available for you to purchase from LG themselves. And when you try to find a retailer close to you, now I'm in Central Jersey, when I try to do that, there is nobody. So right here, gives me all these different points, all these different stores that I can call, and I have nobody to buy a replacement filter from. So that is really disappointing, and that is something they should really improve before they release a $500 fan without replacement filters. So these were the three things I don't like and I hate about my LG PureCare Aero Tower purifying fan. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Hope you have a great day. Take care.